Hearing none, I would recognize the member from Edmonton, Allersley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So it gives me great pleasure to stand today in the House and, and speak to Bill 12, the Aboriginal Consultation Levy Repeal Act. And as it's been expressed uh, multiple times, but I believe it deserves repeating, is that First Nations communities felt that they weren't properly consulted on this. And uh, I think that it's very important in light now that we are so compelled to implement the United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People. And not only uh, that, but also the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action that we, we reestablish our relationship with, with First Nations. And I'm so grateful that our government is doing exactly that. And it's such an important priority for our new Minister of Indigenous Relations. I've had the opportunity to, to, have, to build relationships with uh, many First Nations people here in our province. And I just want to stress how important it is, that word relationship, that for many First Nations as well, uh, as uh, Métis communities, being able to sit down in the circle and discuss, to build the relationship first, to build that trust with one another, and especially with First Nations, to engage in the process, the protocol, perhaps better stated, of ceremony, of actually being able to sit down and uh, share medicine to smoke pipe, to lay down tobacco. All these things are important to First Nations people, that their protocols be followed. That we must never forget that this is part of respecting the First Nations constitutionally protected right, treaty rights. We can never forget that we were signatories to Treaty 6, 7, and 8 here in this province. So as we move forward, it's important that we sit down and we have more productive discussions, that uh, First Nations feel that their participation is a, a genuine participation in the process of consultation, and that industry and stakeholders will also be respected in that process as we all sit down at the at the table together to discuss these matters. And it gives me great honor to, to share the words of Grand Chief Tony Alexis of Treaty 6. And I really hope that all the members of this House take these words to heart. Regarding Bill 22, he said, it was the same mindset as residential schools. We know what's best for you, and we will look after you, and don't worry about a thing. Our first stance is to protect the land, and if government is going to put together a bill, we have to be involved in that bill, so we know that those interests will be heard." End quote. So with that being said, Mr. Speaker, again, it gives me great pleasure to speak to Bill 12, and I highly recommend that everyone in this House please vote in favour of Bill 12. Thank you very much.